I'm Sue Rabati, and I'm the founder of MedShadow Foundation. This is Jonathan Block, who is a content editor for MedShadow Foundation. We inform the public about the side effects and long-term effects of the medicines that we all take, both over-the-counter medicines and prescription medicines. Today, we're going to talk about a recently approved by the FDA stomach pump that actually sucks food out of your stomach. It's known as the Aspire Assist. So wait, it's a stomach pump that you use on a non-emergency basis. Correct. From what I understand from reading about it, you, uh, a doctor would surgically implant a tube inside your stomach. Then about 20 to 30 minutes after you would have a meal, you would attach a pump to this tube um, that comes out of your stomach and uh, it would basically empty about 30% of your calories. And when I say empty, it would empty those contents directly into your toilet bowl. Ew, so it just splashes out into the toilet bowl. That's gross. Um, the side effects that we know about on this process are indigestion, nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, and even more pleasantly, leakage or infection, even bleeding around the, the port site where the tube would go into. This doesn't sound like a great idea to me. In fact, this sounds like medically sanctioned bulimia to me. Well, it's interesting that you, you said that because I was reading an article about this and there was, I believe it was a doctor who essentially called the Aspire Assist a quote, bulimia machine. <laughs> Part of the reason is because what the pump does is kind of mimics the actions of when, if you're bulimic, that you purge. And it's for this reason that the, uh, that the device should not be used on people who have eating disorders. But it's to be used on people who have a weight issue. How big a weight issue do you need? Uh, I'm not exactly sure about that, but this is the thing, is that you can't just use the pump use it after every meal and that's part of your weight loss. There's a whole bunch of lifestyle modifications that you have to make in order to make this successful. So people are out there thinking, oh great, I can eat whatever I want because I'm going to have this pump that's going to suck out all of, not all of it, but about 30% of the calories. Uh, they're kidding themselves because even the FDA has said that in order to use this, you have to have lifestyle modification in order to maximize it. Well, I think that this sounds like a really horrifying idea. And I wonder, just one last thought before we go, uh, how do you know if you're getting enough nutrition? You know, how do you really know when to stop the siphoning off of the food? And what about those nutrients that are absorbed in the right, that's a good, intestines? That's a great point, actually. And while using this, you do have to make regular trips to the doctor to make sure that you're not losing too many calories and to make sure there's no complications with, um, with the tube and the pump itself. So there are, it, it's not as if you get this and then you don't see your, your, your doctor uh, regularly. Uh, as far as the nutrition, that's something that I'm not sure about, but I'm sure that that is a concern. If you're having, if you're using this pump 20 to 30 minutes after you've eaten and it's taking out approximately 30% of calories, you're definitely gonna be losing a lot of essential nutrients in the process. Mm -hmm. Well, as with every supplement with every medicine with every medical device we at MedShadow encourage you to talk to your doctor very carefully and make sure that the benefits outweigh the risks when you move forward with our program thank you thank you